Welcome everybody and in this lecture we are going to make an individual page for all of these contacts. What I am meaning to say is that whenever we click on it heading we want to go to individual page where it will only show this specific card. And let us discuss how we can do that. Whenever we click in heading so we will send its ID in the URL navigation and in our view we will capture that ID from the URL pattern and get the object with the respective ID and pass it to the detail template. So that's what we are going to do in this lecture and I will and I want to show you that ID for every object is unique. So ID are also called as primary key or PK. Let me show you their ID. So inside the list display we are going to add ID. And by default this ID is added automatically when a new object is created and will be unique for every object. So save it and if you go to the admin panel and refresh the page, you will see that every object here has a unique ID. Go to our card parcel and and inside anchor tag we want to change its navigation to go into detail view and we will also pass its ID to the URL. So let us write a URL statement and give it a name detail. By the way we haven't created this detail URL pattern yet but we will create it soon. And we want to pass its ID so we will do that using contact dot id and remember that we have access to contact object in this card so whenever we call contact dot id it will go to this detail url pattern but at the same time it will also send its id so let us do the same for goal card save it and go to our app directory urls and here let us create a url pattern for detail view I'm going to call it detail and remember we have passed an ID to this detail URL pattern. So we need to cast that ID using this URL dispatcher. So we can do that using a pointed bracket and uh, since ID is an integer we need to type int and the name we want our ID to be in this case I'm going to call it ID. And it will go to views.detail. We haven't created it currently but we'll create it soon and give it a name to be detail. Save it and go to the views.py and inside the views.py we are going to create a detail view. And remember we have passed an ID in our URL navigation of detail. So our detail view will take the request argument by default but also need to take this ID argument because whenever it tries to access views.detail it will pass this ID argument too. So we need to pass ID as a second argument in its view. And using this ID we can also get the required object from the contact model. Let us define a context. Now let us sit on the detail template. And the template name is detail.html and we are going to pass a context. And now in this context we are going to send a contact which will contain the object that belongs to the particular ID. So we will call it contact. And so now we need to find a way to get an object that matches a particular ID. In this case this ID argument. So in Django we have a function called get object or 404. So what it will do is that it will try to get an object from a particular model that belongs to a particular ID. And if it doesn't get it, it will throw a 404 error. So let us use it and it takes two arguments that is the name of a model in this case contact and primary key value. And remember primary key and ID are the same. So in the primary key argument we are going to pass the value of ID. Now save it and now inside the detail.html we have the access to the contact object and we are going to set up the template for detail view in the next lecture. 